Bobby Lopez here, your golfing buddy, and got something for you today that might help you better understand how the camshaft of the engine, which is the body in the golf swing turns. I've said for years that the golf swing is really akin to a discus throw or even the shot put. More so than hitting a baseball, more so than hitting a tennis ball, which all have this surge to the left side if you're right-handed before you hit it. Ours is a single axis rotation on a tilt, same thing as a discus throw or the shot put. Now watch, this young man right here, Neil Blanken, I think is his name, nice fella here from North Carolina, looks like a great kid, um, is demonstrating how to throw a discus. Look at this angle. What happens to us in golf is we think level. Big mistake. Big mistake. Now I'm going to use, at first, Benny Crenshaw here because he tilts more than any of us. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Now watch. I'm going to put a line right here. Here goes Benny. Now watch this over here. Hello. Very similar motions. Look at these shoulders. Look where his head is. And notice where his eyes are looking. Because the stupid ball isn't on the ground. <laughs> That's ruined most of us. Look at Benny Crenshaw. Look where his head is looking. Now watch this. Let's look at Sergio. I wish I was a bullfighter, Garcia. See if I can make him a little bigger. There you go. Look at that shoulder turn. Look. Boom, 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 boom. Huh? Where's his eyes? Over here. Where's his head? On his right foot. Where's his head? Almost outside his right foot. Now watch. Now he's going to rotate on that same axis. See, look at his left hip. Watch his left hip. Hmm? For you left-handers, watch his right hip. And I'll tell you one thing, even for you guys that are right-handed, you'll see how you really see it a lot better when you see it on somebody left-handed. Look at his hip. Now watch. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this, watch this, watch this. He stays behind that line the whole time. He stays tilted, see? Right here, right here. Now watch, let's pick on Crenshaw. I'm gonna move it back to right-handed here, hold on. Look, 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 look. Look. Now, let's switch it back to right-handed. And let me show you. Here's Rieger, one of the longest hitters on the senior tour. Look. Here. He's going to rotate on that axis pretty much straightened up just a little bit watch this watch this see he rotates on this same axis where's his left hip watch his left hip look his left hip look how it clears look how his head is well behind the golf ball see look look at his left hip Now here's what happens to us because we're trying to keep our stinking heads down. Well, here's one right here. You're trying to transfer the weight to the left side. Here, see? Number one, as you can already see, there's quite a bit of this young man's swing is all built around inside a phone booth. Here, he 
See, he gets everything on his right foot. His left toe is hardly touching the ground. See? Then, look. Ah, now his hips get way ahead. Oops. 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 Really not bad. But watch this. Now watch. Ah. See this? See this? All the focus on the golf ball. No, focus should be head here and feel tilted this way. See, there's the amount of loft on your golf club, and then there's the angle of attack for the dynamic loft, plus whatever the club's kicking off. See, now he's way ahead of the golf ball. Look where his left hip goes. See, no, that left hip right there needs to go zhoof. This needs to be tilted a little more, head right here. You're going to say, no, wait a minute. Yeah, I bet you Nicholas didn't do that. Oh, you don't think so? <laughs> watch. Now watch what he's going to do. What tilt is he on right there? What tilt is he on right there? He talked about the Nicholas leg drive, the Nicholas leg drive, Nicholas leg drive. Watch his knees. Where's his hips going? His hips going around and back. Now watch this. I run into this all the time. It goes right off the bat. Look at this. Boom. Staring at that stupid golf ball. If you want to look at something, put the logo on the back right here and feel like you're tilted this way feel like your head's way the heck over here and try and look at the logo on the back of the ball this way you're gonna hit the back of the ball not the top of the ball if you hope so now watch see nice toast had no chance because from here his head's right on top of the ball the club's coming out of his left shoulder See, so then he's all cramped up trying to swing in a very small area. If the discus thrower did the same thing, he wouldn't throw that thing one-third as far as he's throwing it. See? He throws it on. Look at his arms. Look at his arms. They stay on that same angle. He releases it, and then he finishes nice and tall. So what should you do about this? Here's step one. Get up in front of a mirror. Take your left thumb, stick in your chest. So now your elbow's out here like this, and there's your thumb. And take your left elbow and head this way and touch a wall. Until you can get yourself tilted so much to where you feel like your head's over there. Overcook it by 500% and you can always come back. That's step one. Then from there, here's the real problem that people have. They think they're going to stick the club in the ground right there. That's what I hear all the time. No. You clear the left hip and then your left shoulder is going to go up. See his shoulder go up? Look at it go up. Look at it go up. Straight up. So yeah, you feel like you're going to stick the club in the ground here, but in reality, this shoulder went straight up in the air. Even though this one came down, it levels off. Boom. See? Look how much tilt are in his shoulders when he actually hits the ball. Look. Look. Here we are at impact. We only have this much tilt. We only have this much tilt. Not even close. And then our left shoulder gets all jammed up right here. Why? Because of this lateral move in that direction. You gotta play golf here, 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 and here not on top of the golf ball. You play golf behind the golf ball. Look at him again. Look where his head is. What a 
show you another one again. Here's the reaper. See? He's not straight up and down. Look at that tilt. Now watch. Where's his shoulders? This way. If this club weren't pulling outward, the centrifugal force, he'd fall right on his tail right there. That club going outward and pulling him forward is the only thing that's saving him from falling down on his tail. All right. I hope this helped you to see it better. It's a single axis rotation on a tilt that'll keep you on sides. If you're not sure what your swing's doing, just send me your swing. Put it on a, you know, get your cell phone out, take a, a quick pop of your swing, and just email it off to me. Email it to Bobby Lopez at quickfitsgolf.com. I'll get it, I'll do an analysis, send it back to you, won't even charge you a dime. I'll be waiting for your video. Bobby Lopez here, and I hope that uh, what you just saw will help your golf game, get you to knock a couple of strokes off. And we've got a whole lot more at quickfixgolf.com. And uh, also, you know, you can look at all these videos, but there's nothing like seeing what you look like on video. So get out your cell phone, whatever, take a video of your swing, send it to me, and then along with my analysis, I'm going to give you a drill, something like this, or who knows what, depends. It's going to be basically a drill that's specific to what I see in your swing and, and it's absolutely free it won't cost you a dime so just send it to Bobby Lopez at quickfixgolf.com